I have already uh, heard from some of the esteemed speakers, some spoke about artificial intelligence, uh, but uh, I'll give you a different perspective. I'm sure most of you all would have uh, artificial intelligence in your syllabus. Uh, and, and I know that many of you all are still in 11th standard, 12th standard, and maybe. Uh, but something which I'm going to cover is more towards uh, the company's implementation perspective, how technology is changing the landscape. So, I'll probably begin with it. All right. Okay. So, artificial intelligence is the most overused term in this modern world. Am I right, guys? You can raise hand. Artificial intelligence. You see, every day, every morning, you get so many notifications on your phone. I get up in the morning. What is the first thing which I see? Rather, most of us, we see. Is it a mirror? Maybe some of you all would be seeing yourself in the mirror. But I believe most of us would be seeing our phone. So what is that? So phone, we use biometric to unlock our phone. Some of you all are using maybe iPhone or some high-end phone. Uh, maybe using face recognition. So what is that? That is AI. That is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has become a household product. And also, rather I would say, it has become like a presence everywhere. But I we, we all need a different perspective to understand about artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence is not only not limited to our cell phones. It is beyond that. Beyond our imagination. We need to understand, we need to compare the current situation, the current phase, the current, the current status of artificial implementation and then we have to see how are we standing in terms of the global market when it comes to artificial intelligence. So of course I am not going to go into the technical part of artificial intelligence. But I will try to give you and touch base on some of the aspects of artificial intelligence. But let's come to India. In India, as I said, we, I think one of the largest countries in terms of the usage of the cell phones and uh, thanks to the mobile data what we have, thanks to all our telecom companies. But when I say household presence, You call your brother, in India we call it by as AI. We, some of you all would be calling your mother I as an AI. And of course, most of us we drink tea, we call it chai, that is AI. But on a serious note guys, uh, artificial intelligence can do wonders in the businesses. When I talk about businesses, of course, it is not only the technical robots or anything, but it's a, it's a, it's a massive landscape globally and even locally also, where artificial intelligence is creating wonders. Now coming back to the VCs, while we are talking right now, while I am giving this speech, 
you, you guys don't know, like there are tremendous investments, the private investments which are happening in this space of artificial intelligence. There are big tech companies, Google, talk about Microsoft, then it comes to e-commerce companies, Amazon, Flipkart, when it comes to the delivery logistic companies, I think everybody is using which app? For delivery app, which app you all use? Flipkart. Flipkart? Flipkart? Okay. And how about if you want to order any food? Zomato. Zomato. So, so these, these are all unicorns. So there are big companies, small companies, Startups, even I can say uh, Bollywood. Even Bollywood is using AI. Hollywood is using AI. Even politicians are also using artificial intelligence. So, so the use, the investment is happening huge. Let's check the statistics. India is ranking 10th when it comes to the private investment inflow as per the record. And you will be surprised to hear this. As per the recent report, there has been investment of 1.4 billion dollars. And we are, we are standing 10th among 150 plus countries. If I have to mention any country which is standing on top, it's United States. That has almost 67 uh, billion dollar investment as per the record. And if you talk about uh, the third place, uh, would be United Kingdom, and then uh, then there are other countries like China, France, Germany, Denmark, and so on. So that means many, many big giant venture capitalists are looking India as a big market. So this is one positive sign for artificial intelligence. Okay, that this sector is going to grow. If you look at the talent pool perspective. We all know India has the highest artificial intelligence penetration skill in this world. Highest. In fact, we have three times more AI trained skills across the world. Three times more. So while you are studying right now, and this is a good positive opportunity for you and I think this is the theme for today when we talk about our theme of Ignite. So these statistics should really ignite your mind and these are real statistics. If you look at the overall jobs 15% growth, I think this is big in terms of artificial intelligence and machine learning jobs. And this, this, this is the recent stat. I'm sure after, maybe after another quarter or after a year, this will go 5x. And I feel we should be all proud that we are part of the developing countries like India, who is having the highest, youngest population in the world. And I think most of you all are already sitting in this room. Honestly, I never had this uh, privilege to attend a TED talk. 
or such kind of seminar when I was in my school or early college days. So, so these are the statistics which we all should uh, really take this as a key takeaways from today's session. Then, what is artificial intelligence? So, artificial intelligence is, I mean, if, you, if I have to put it in a very simple layman language, it is just a, a computer software which is which is engaging like a human-like activities, human-like activities, including learning, decision making, and even problem solving. So, artificial intelligence is something which is which is having impact in all the sectors throughout the industry. If you look at the manufacturing industry, if you look at the e-commerce industry, supply chain industry, or even if it is a production house, service industry, artificial intelligence is playing a vital role. So, it doesn't mean that we all have to be technical like a coder. Of course, there are broad of spectrum, there are different roles which each one of us can play in artificial intelligence. You cannot, you can be a technical or even you can be a non-technical to be part of this stage, artificial intelligence. So even when, when I was, uh, I was working for a multinational company, and uh, this is like 10 years back when artificial intelligence was uh, was just a trending. Okay, most of the companies uh, like Accenture, PCS, many big multinational companies had already started uh, doing a lot of innovation in artificial intelligence and machine learning because the clients were demanding that time. Because every client Every client, there are three important things which every client will look for it. One is cost. How should we reduce the cost of my operation? And then there are various other uh, factors. Second is how can I increase the speed? How can I improve the productivity? How can I increase the efficiency? And third is the quality. How can I improve the quality? We all agree, if you do manual work, there are chances of errors. There are, if you do manual, How many times uh, when you when you open a phone and you 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 try sending a message, you start typing. Am I right? You all start typing. You all get recommendation of apostrophe, then words. So what is that? That means there are chances that manually if you Type, you might, you might, I'm not saying 100% that you will do error, but you get, you might do error. So, the artificial technology is actually giving you, suggesting you, prompting you to use the right words. <coughs> Likewise, there are many, many use cases in artificial intelligence. So, uh, I am not going to cover all the use cases because as a, as a business development manager or as a growth manager, uh, you know, I am looking after 
majorly the revenue part, the sales process part. How many of you all want to become a salesman? How many of you all? No one? Okay. So, I think, yeah, definitely you all have the choice to become a salesman or to take up any uh, career opportunity. Uh, but what I will do is, I will just quickly make you understand how the entire sales process works. So, in the traditional sales process and the AI sales process. So, if you look at the slide behind me, this is the typical sales flow, how it works. Like, you have sales prospecting, that is the first stage of a sales process. Normally, a salesman, the moment you understand this, uh, understand this word, salesman, or you have, you hear this name, oh, salesman, door to door. You have to go door to door. You have to find customer. You have to find leads. You have to uh, you have to attend events. You have to attend exhibitions. You have to attend many seminars to get the leads. So this is exactly what a traditional sales process works. Even you have to, if you have to fetch any client, you have to go through their LinkedIn profile, the company website, you have to understand the client background, and then you have to, uh, you have to see if it is the right fit client for you. Be at any industry, whatever you are trying to sell, whether it's a service industry or even if you're selling a product, you have to, you have to do a lot of manual work in the first stage, that is sales prospecting. Even I have done that. And I am still uh, doing it. But, this is not enough. This is not the only process which we have to follow in sales prospecting. When you merge artificial intelligence, the same manual work what you are doing, you are already getting a source of data. You feed that data in the artificial intelligence tool. I think some of our speakers already spoke about artificial intelligence that this is the app you all should explore. There are various AI tools, in fact much upgraded AI tools, which can, which can actually give you the right fit client based on the data what we have feed. So it will save your time. It will help for a decision making. Then the next, the next step is initial outreach. So once you get the lead, then you have to communicate with the client, right? How does the client will know? Will get to know that what do you want to sell or what are you specialized in? So you will, you will create a draft. You will prepare an email, and then you will send all the content. You will send your brochures or PDF files. But most of the email IDs. If you look at, uh, we are getting 90% of emails, most of them are rubbish. Have you checked your uh, Gmail? You get thousands of mails every day, every month. But how many are really valid? Most of them will be irrelevant. So AI can actually help you to craft email as per your client background, as per your client details. Then, the first call. So this is the first call what we have to do once you get a uh, response from the client. And then, second call. This is mostly the follow-up call. Even AI can do the follow-up call. Then comes to the objection handling. Okay, so basically even AI can guide you uh, in handling some of the FFTs of the client. And then the closing works. So this is this is just a broad perspective which I am trying to show you uh, how a traditional process and AI augmentation will work together and improve your result. Now, 
as I said, artificial intelligence is not only about one industry or one process. If you look at, there are various chatbots, which are AI driven chatbots. So, I've just kind of, you know, uh, tried putting some of the example, of course, there are more than 10, 15 chatbots, but these are the major chatbots which we all are using, like machine learning chatbot, then you have So, I was coming to the chatbots. So, there are various chatbots which we are using right now. Uh, you have many ways chatbot. I'm sure whenever you have tried ordering a food, Swiggy, then in that case, you must have got a menu based option that what you want to order or, you know, so you, you will get the menu. So, it is the most simplest chatbot which I'm sure most of us would be using. Uh, the second is, it's more like a rule based chatbot where you actually, uh, you know, give a kind of a keyword, if then. And then there is another something which is called LLP chatbot, uh, which works based on your conversation, what you had with the chatbot. There is something which is called machine learning chatbot, which is again uh, a chatbot, which, which is more giving you uh, suggestions what you have to do next, what you have to do, what they are, it is giving you more uh, suggestion on your preferences, which is helping you to take a decision. Then, there is something which is called hybrid chatbot, which is combination of uh, AI and the real person who is chatting. So, why I am actually sharing this chatbot? The reason is, this is another career opportunities which we all can embrace and honestly uh, just chatbot does not mean that you have to be like a coder. There are various courses in artificial intelligence which can help you to give you a different dimension. Even the latest one which we all must be knowing is voice, voice bot. Like you just have to speak and it will convert your voice into text. So chatbots is again a very important, uh, one of the great innovation right now which is, which is not only helping uh, the businesses but also customer service, marketing support, human resource, CRM and sales support. So these are all the functions where chatbot is majorly used. And chatbot is not going to be only limited to these uh, operations. Even nowadays, agri-tech companies are evolving, startups are evolving. Farmers have started using chatbots. And a lot of innovations are happening on chatbots. Okay, so I think this is something which I wanted to cover for artificial intelligence. And uh, the only thing which I have to say is stay ahead the curve. Okay, so keep learning. I think you guys uh, have the great privilege to be part of this institute and to be part of this session. Uh, take some learnings from this, from all the speakers, and I'm sure each one of us will have a great opportunity in the future. Thank you so much.